Meet Rob Nelson, talk show host. He's new around here, and it's a tough neighborhood. Stupid talk shows! But Rob's got a whole new way of doing things. A point of view, I got an opinion. I'm in the middle of the rumble with everybody else. Hi, I'm Rob Nelson. I'm Rob Nelson. <laughs> do this for free? You want 100 billion to lose the rest? And you barely have shorts on. I'm not asking if it makes sense to arrest the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely looks like a festival, but I notice it just... Is that gonna stop a war? I am standing out here to make a point. There's 20,000 ex-gays out there, and at they're really they ex-gays. At least they have, they have no idea how high their failure rate is because they refuse to keep statistics. Not everyone that goes to AA makes it out of alcoholism. Wow. But AA, you're an alcoholic for life. You, right. You know, you're still an alcoholic. You just don't touch the substance. Are you still gay? No. Are you no. ever attracted to men? No. Never. No. I'm Rob Nelson. Hollywood is often called the dream factory. But for many of the celebrities who live and work here, the dream is increasingly turning into a nightmare. Wherever they go, whatever they do, they're watched 24-7 by an increasingly aggressive mob of paparazzi. Governor, away from the crowd, would you address the paparazzi? We won't respond to it. You twist? I'm Rob Nelson. Can I talk to you? No. Come on. You're convicted of a sex offense. Yeah, You're a convicted man. sex offender. All right, man. talk to me about it. Taking page from the paparazzi, I'm gonna push the envelope and confront people on all sides of the issues to get some answers about this crisis that many say could lead to a tragedy of Princess Diana proportions. Because you got the 70s thing going there. I got someone's underwear. Black people can say whatever they want about white people. That's not true. Oh, it's so uh, true. Come true. on. Come along, children. Hey. How do you just say it? You just said it. I hate to feel like I'm prosecuting you guys. I'm serious. I'm, I'm pleading for your soul here, Sally. How is that different than prostitution? It's a brilliant question. Got a hard time with that one. My mother has suffered more than anyone could ever suffer for what they did. What am I, a piece of meat? I'm gonna keep this family together and make it work. It just ain't in my control. It's just happening. Jeff Gadar, whatever, turn yeah. it on. Your life could go down south so fast it ain't fun. They're so, so happy. <laughs> Don't wait till it's too late. I mean that. We'll be right back. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. 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 You got a good right. point there, right? Some working. of what's in what this music, you can't, yeah. you can't sanitize hey. it. And maybe you shouldn't sanitize it. I would look at Eminem's music as just as violent, just as derogatory, and just as artistic. But my question is, is there a social responsibility attached? Because you can't just look and say that well, music all, isn't influencing up, kids. Hello and welcome. I'm Rob Nelson. You're listening to The Rob Nelson Show here on 790 KBC Talk Radio with Passion. Again, I don't get this one thing with the reporters. What are you doing shoving report, beating reporters with batons? I don't care if they're kind of in your way. Aren't we all equal under the law? I mean, if you commit a crime against someone who's disabled, it's a hate crime. The police were well protected. They weren't that provoked. They, they pushed the people who provoked them back into the crowd. I got a bank full of phone calls, so I'm going to take some calls and get this going right away. Richard, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Check this out. There's a new thing. It's caffeinated soap. It's called shower shock. <laughs> But they say 200 milligrams of caffeine per wash goes right through the skin. No need to drink that hot coffee, no need to ice it, don't need a latte, just get in the shower, put it on, and off you go. Now, I'm a little suspicious of these things because I'd probably eat this stuff if it actually worked. So I thought, let's put it to the test. After our stripper works the room for a while, we drop a bombshell. Mom? Mom? Am I the only one that, that thinks this is fing so weird? Her kid is downstairs? The party's over. Caitlin, enough for now. Let me tell you something, man. This has all been a test. That's not her kid. He's an actor. You're lying. I'm dead serious, man. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Right. And it's a very powerful visual. I'm getting pulled down. Talk to, <laughs> talk to my got friends. It. Don't fight with a black woman who wants a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving you bored? You going back to Japan? Come on. <laughs> You feel discriminated against as a gay guy? I didn't say I was gay. Are you gay? Yes. Okay, well, I'm looking at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, you know hey, and don't fault me for having you know gaydar, because anchor. you know what? I hate this thing that you can't pick someone out. It's like you can tell half the time when someone's gay, which is the point. It isn't necessarily his choice. He's born that way. That's who he is. Why shouldn't he be able to, like, exhibit that and live it? Pictures of celebrities command more money than ever. So I took to the streets to find out 
What makes a photo so valuable? Which ones are worth the most? And just what will the paparazzi do to get them? How are you? I'm Rob. Giles. Let's roll. Giles Harrison, a freelance photographer, has been taking pictures of celebrities in Los Angeles for more than a decade. So you basically have like a, it's almost like a series of rounds, like you go on your rounds. Rob Nelson is looking to take down his competition in the ratings grab for late night weekend viewers. Every Saturday night, he takes a hands-on approach to intriguing issues that spark lively confrontation. But isn't the whole beauty of politics in America that anyone, anyone at all, can climb to the top? You know, kids, you get told, you can grow up to be president. Paul talks about, in 1 Corinthians 6, he talks about a whole list of sinners, and he mentions in that group yeah. homosexuals yeah. and male prostitutes. Yeah. And then he, he also mentions idolaters, revelers, right. drunkards, right. swindlers, greedy right. people. And that's right. all of us. Well, you know, New Year's exactly. Eve in, in Times Square, 10 million people going straight to hell exactly. by that. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> straight up. I'm for the war, and I'm upset about the anti-war protests. But not because they're happening, because they're so darn lame. Honk for peace? Give me a break.